of mass 402 grams is passed at 23 meters per second. Okay, what is the kinetic, what is its kinetic energy? Okay, so we're going to calculate the kinetic energy and then we're asked if it was passed from rest, so it was lying on the ground or something like that, from rest by a man that exerted a constant force over 0.5 meters, what was the net force acting on the ball? Okay, so that's the two questions we need to answer, kinetic energy and the net force acting on the ball. Let's get started. Okay, kinetic energy is not very difficult to calculate. We've seen that in the previous example. We have kinetic energy is simply half mass times velocity squared. This time my mass is given in the wrong unit. As you can see it's given as uh, 420 grams. Okay, and that needs to be divided with a thousand in order to get uh, kilograms. So we get 0, 0,42 kilograms. Then velocity is simply 23 meters per second, which is fine. So calculating the kinetic energy, not a problem. It's simply half the mass, so half of 0, 0,42 times the velocity that's 23 squared. And calculator comes in handy here. And what do we get as an answer? We get 0.5, that's half, times 0.42, times 23 squared, is equal to 111, okay, so it's equal to 111,09 joules, okay, that's the amount of kinetic energy it has. Okay. Then they give us a little bit more information. They say that it was passed from rest. In other words, originally its kinetic energy was zero. Its velocity was zero. Um, but then a man applied a force to it, a constant force over 0.5 meters. Okay. And they ask what was the net force acting on the ball. Okay. So how can we use energy and force and all of this together in order to calculate the net force acting on it. Well, this is where it comes in handy knowing that the change in kinetic energy is equal to the net work that is done. And the net work is simply the net force times the change in um, or the, yeah, the change in displacement, okay, times cos of the angle between them. But the angle between them will just be zero, okay. So what do we have? Well, we have all of this. We have the change in kinetic energy since we have the future kinetic energy. And initially, it was at rest, so it was zero, okay. We have, uh, therefore, we have the net work done, okay. This is the energy. Uh, the work energy principle, the work energy principle, okay, and we want the net force, and we've been given this, and we know the angle is zero, so we have all that, we have the change in the kinetic energy is simply this 111,09 minus, uh, this is future kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy is zero, so we have that as our change in kinetic energy. Okay, the net force is what we want to calculate, and the displacement is 0 0.5 meters, and finally the angle is zero. So substituting all of this in there, we get one, uh, let's change the color a bit, we get 111,09 is equal to the net force times the change in displacement, which is 0, 0,5 cos of 0, which means if we solve the net force, the net force solved, we just divide both sides, cos of 0 is just 1 with 0, 0,5. Okay on both sides, so we get the net force is 111.09 divided by 0.5.
So that divided by 0 0.5 equals 222.18, 222.18 newtons. This is the net force acting on the ball. Okay, so let's uh, substitute in here. Okay, start with the first one where we had to calculate kinetic energy. That was a very simple example using the kinetic energy formula where we know the mass we had to use standard units which was 0 0.42 okay velocity was 23 and when we substituted that we get a half times 0 0.42 0 0.42 okay times 23 squared that's correct and then the answer was 11 1.09 joules and then in the second part okay here we use two formulas and you can see they give us the opportunity to select two formulas okay the one was that the net work done is equal to the net force times the change in displacement and cost okay but in order this is where we have F that we're trying to calculate but in order to use this we also needed to use the work energy theorem that says that the net work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy okay the change in kinetic energy now we know um, which values do we know well we know that the net work done we calculated that but why did we how do we calculate that um, we calculated that by taking the change the delta uh, or the change in kinetic energy and we calculated that to be 111.09 okay we also know that the displacement that was the delta x that we used the delta x was 0 0.5 and the angle between those two uh, the f the net force and the change in displacement was 0 degrees Okay, and that's all that we needed because in the end we got 111.09 is equal to F. Okay, remember we don't type the uh, subscripts. Okay, F times change in displacement is 0.5. Okay, times cos of 0. Okay, which is okay if you leave that out. Uh, but that is exactly what we had. And when we solved F, we got an answer of 222.18 newtons. That's it.